Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. Jesus talks about the Holy Spirit. Now on the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from within him will flow rivers of living water. But he said this about the Spirit, which those believing in him were to receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus wasn't yet glorified. Now one of the things you need to realize here is that water played a very, and still does, play a very significant part in the Feast of Sukkot, in the Feast of Tabernacles. And don't forget, Jesus here is in the midst of the feast. He is celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles. In, in this feast, water played a role. And Jesus made use of that in his little mini sermon here when he said, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. And he who believes in me, as the scripture says, from him will flow rivers of living water. From within him, out of his belly, in some in some uh, in some translation says, out of his belly will flow rivers of living water. Now, this reminds me, when I first got born again, you know, this was uh, many years ago when I first got born again, and the Spirit of God came into me. I can literally feel. I mean, this is like physically, literally feel the Spirit of God coming out from me, out of me, pouring out of me from my innermost being, from like my belly, from within me, flowing out of me. I felt that. And when I, when that happened to me, I never, I never expected to have that kind of experience. I never expected to feel that or to sense that in any way. But when I did, all of a sudden, I just, this scripture came to my mind. I'm like, now I know what this means. Now I know what Jesus meant when he said, uh, you know, the rivers of living, living water will flow out from your belly, you know. And so it was like a, just an eye opener. It's like I am experiencing exactly what Jesus is talking about here. It's not just theology. It's not just words on a page. It's not just some kind of imagination. This is for real. This is the real deal. So I pray that each one of you would have the blessing to experience the Spirit of God coming into you, filling you, and flowing out of your innermost being. And to do so, you must repent of your sin. You must get rid of those, you must get rid of that media. You must get rid of the books. You must get rid of the videos. You must cleanse yourself of all worldliness. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about books and media that are against the Word of God. Remember in the book of Acts, we see that the disciples burnt books because uh, these books actually were worldly books. They were books against the Torah of God. And you don't want to be keeping anything like that. I mean, that could give place for the enemy in your life. So don't keep that stuff. You need to repent completely of your sinful lifestyle. Turn to Jesus. Live holy as much as possible. He can, he can he, you know, with, with God, all things are possible. And yes, you can live free from sin. And you can ask the Father to fill you with his spirit. Once you have honored him, once you have swept, once, once you have prepared your temple, once you have prepared the temple of your body for the incoming of the most glorious and the most majestic of all kings, Listen, if a great king was about to visit your house, you better do some sweeping. You better do some cleaning. You better do some housework, okay? Because you want to make sure that your house is worthy of the king's presence. In the same way, you can do, you can do it. Don't say you can't do it. You can honor the king. You can honor the most, the king of kings, the most high God, by cleaning the temple and asking him to fill you with his spirit. And I guarantee you, if you do it, he will honor that prayer. So thanks again for listening. And check out the other teachings. Don't forget to check out the other teachings. We are going through the scriptures word for word, and we're talking about it. So it is exciting. Don't miss it. In the name of Jesus, be blessed.